Hello friends, welcome back to Ortho Implants for Life. Today we are going to discuss and explain tibia nailing procedure step by step. We will discuss the general instruments used during the surgery and also their uses. So let's get started. Tibia nailing is used to fix shaft fracture of tibia as shown in the diagram. This device is called a curved awl. This is used to make the entry point for the tibia nail. This is a beaded guide wear. Once the entry point is made, this beaded guide wear is inserted into the canal. This device is called a hand reamer. This is used to rim the canal. It also helps to understand the diameter of the canal. This is a flexible reamer. It has the same function like a hand reamer. This comes in the difference of 5 mm. For example, if the nail used is of 8 mm, so we have to rim 1.5 mm extra than the diameter of the nail. After that, this proximal reamer is used to do further rimming. This device is called a medullary tube and it is inserted in the canal after the rimming is done. After that, plain guide wire is inserted in the canal and the medullary tube is taken out and, and it stays inside the canal till the time the nail is completely in. This device is called a tissue protector. Now, during the process of rimming, this device is used to protect the soft tissues during the rimming. This device is called a guide wire holding forceps. While using flexible reamer, when the flexible reamer is being taken out, there is a chance of the guide wire being pulled out with it as well from the medullary canal. That's when we use the guide wire holding forceps to hold the guide wire in the place like this. This device is called a T-handle chuck with key. Now, during the entry of the guide wire in the medullary canal, due to presence of blood in the gloves of the surgeon or the OT assistant, there is a chance of losing grip of the guide wire. That is when this T-handle chuck with key comes into play. By holding the guide wire like this and tightening it with the key like this. And thus we can pull, push or rotate the guide wire with ease. Now let us come to the attachment of tibia nail with the help of a jig.
This is a tibia jig. This is a conical bolt. This is a spanner. This device is called a box spanner. And this is the tibia nail. Now let's see the nailing procedure. The conical bolt is attached in this place of the jig. After the entry of the conical bolt, we attach the nail on this side and then tighten up. Spanner or box spanner is used to tighten it furthermore. The jig must be always tested before using it in the operation so that it does not create any problem during the operation. Now in order to test, first protection sleeve is inserted. After that, a trocker is inserted through the protection sleeve. Then the trocker is removed and the 4mm drill sleeve is inserted in the protection sleeve. After that, a 4mm drill bit is used to drill through the hole. This is how the TBR jig is checked to see that it is working perfectly fine. The drill bit is going through and there is no obstruction. Now the same procedure is used to check all the other holes. This part is the distal end of tibia nail. Now surgeon can use either a stain man pin or a drill bit to drill through this hole. There are two variants of screwdrivers used for this tibia nail procedure, 200 mm and 150 mm. Like when you tested, we will apply the same procedure. First, 4mm protection sleeve is inserted. Then, through it, 4mm drill sleeve is inserted. Then the drilling is done with the 4mm drill bit. After that, drill sleeve is taken out and depth gauge is used to measure the length of the interlocking bolt which is needed to be fixed. It is inserted through the protection sleeve and check the depth of the hole to have an idea the length of the interlocking bolt needed. A 200 mm screwdriver is used in order to fix the interlocking bolt in the proximal part of the nail which is connected to the jig. A 4.9 mm interlocking bolt is used. The entry is done through the protection sleeve using the 200 mm screwdriver and gets locked in this hole. In the same way, 150 mm screwdriver is used to fix the interlocking bolt in the distal part of the nail. A 4.9 mm interlocking bolt is used here as well and it is fixed freehand. This is a hammering adapter. This is used to do the hammering. This gets attached in the conical bolt of the jig like this. And further tighten and locked with the help of a spanner.
during the entry of the nail in the medullary canal gentle hammering like this might be required in order to make the nail go through this is extractor rod and this is a sliding hammer this is an attachment which you can use by fixing it with the hammering adapter like this And further tightening is done here with the help of a spanner. This is used for back hammering to do extraction or to impact for the insertion of the nail. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any queries, comment below and we will surely reply back. If you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry, please click the link below in the description box and DM us to know more. Thank you and see you in our next video.